know how I'm gonna even do this, if I'm being totally honest. Uh. Good morning. I woke up like an hour ago and I was just scrolling TikTok. I've gotta get going with my day. We have a lot to do. First things first, I need to brush my teeth, do my little skincare routine, make some breakfast, make some coffee, figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair. We just have a lot to do. I will report back after I do my morning routine. I got ready for the morning. I'm in my purple era <laughs> and I have my cute little claw clip in. I found a claw clip that would match this <laughs> almost exactly, but my hair is already up and I'm not. I'm experimenting with like jewelry. I'm wearing more silver. I have this silver ring that me and my bestie Elena got together. My hair is a mess. I still have not had coffee. I have not eaten yet and it is 11 o'clock. But meanwhile, I found this very fun, cozy, seaside cafe shop playlist. Let's get a taste. I'm gonna make my coffee. <laughs> changed my hair again because it's so greasy. I put some makeup on so that I could feel more put together. I'm thinking first things first is I show you the state of my books and then we can figure out a game plan. I know I'm gonna have to take all of them down. Above you to the left is an entire cabinet filled of books that I need to donate or drop off at little libraries. Fun fact, where we're staying right now, there's zero little libraries. So that's cute. I honestly want to make one here somewhere. So that could be a fun future video. So don't forget to subscribe. <sighs> this is gonna be rough. Oh my God, you don't understand. I have so many new books and there's zero organization up there. Without further ado, let's look at my books. First cabinet. <laughs> oh my God. Second cabinet. Tomato, there's no room for you to go up there right now. I'll put you up there when I empty it, okay? Third cabinet. This is a lot of my camera gear, and it, as you can see, is starting to come over here. Tomato, you're gonna do it, aren't you? Oh my God. There's, I'm telling you, you're, yeah, there's no room. I wasn't kidding. Oh my God. Tomato Renee, you're stressing me out. There's no room back there. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a bad idea. What are you doing? You gotta get down, bro. This is the cabinet full of books that I need to donate, and it's already full. And look, Tamina wants to go up there. She loves books, just like her mom. So as you can tell, I'm already a little stressed out. So I think I'm gonna put my music back on. I have a companion, and then I'm literally, we're just gonna do a quick time lapse of me moving all of this stuff down, and then we're gonna go through them together, because that's just how I think it's gonna go the best. And it's not including these five new books I got. The day that this video goes live is my birthday. And I'm pretty excited. I am turning 21. I'm just kidding. <coughs> That's my karma for lying. I'm just really excited. I have been posting consistently on YouTube for over a year now, and it has just been such a fun journey. I just really appreciate all of the support and the love that you guys give on my videos, and I'm excited for future videos, whatever that may look like, and I hope that you stick around. So I just wanted to throw that in there, that it's my birthday. If you wanna like say have a birthday or something, that'd be cool. If not, that's also cool. Yeah, now this is getting weird and awkward. Back to the video. Hello, and welcome to what I like to call the yikes corner. Well, 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 is it, is, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions, 
tomato is bathing. <laughs> Just so this video isn't like an hour long, I'm only going to be discussing the books that are new to me. Maybe I'll talk about the ones that I've already talked about in past videos, but we're gonna rapid fire through those ones because I have a lot of new books and it's a problem. I think I'm just gonna pick a stack and decide whether or not we're keeping them or donating them. Let's start with the most recent books. I literally bought these yesterday. Ta -da! These are five books by Anne McCaffrey. I'm not 100% sure if that's how you say her name. I don't even know if she's a well-known author. I know absolutely nothing about this author. <laughs> I know that's a great start to a, a book haul. I recently have gotten obsessed with fantasy novels from the 80s that are like small and compact like this and really easy to read and we'll get to why that is. That book is up here. For some reason feeling really drawn to dragons and I want to read like dragon fantasy novels. There were five from this series. These are like the later half of the series I want to say. That's what I found at the beginning of the book. Like they have a list of all the books in the series and these are like the last five or so. I got these five books. Hopefully I really like the series. I have have only eight more to get in order to have the completed series. If you have read these books or even heard of this author, let me know if I made a good choice or not. And if I didn't, just lie to me. <laughs> I've got a bunch of classics. Virginia Woolf, Oscar Wilde, Jane Austen, Jane Austen, Jane Austen, Cat's Cradle. I'm still wanting to read this one, so I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm trying to get through the ones I've already talked about. Donna Tart. we've got Madeline Miller. Haruki Murakami, Jane Eyre I've talked about a million times, all of these poetry books. I'm trying to separate into category as much as I can. Then we've got a Martha Grimes mystery novel, an Agatha Christie mystery novel, and The Hobbit, which I am halfway through and have been halfway through for like a year almost. <laughs> Jonathan Livingston Seagull. This book, if you see this in a thrift store, this was 25 cents. Just grab it. It's such a fast read and it's so I think it's best just to go in it blindly and just read it with an open mind and an open heart. Just the photos in it are incredible. And then being here on the coast, I see constantly seagulls and I'm always reminded of this book. This is the book that started my obsession with fantasy. It is David Gemmel. Gimmel? I'm not 100% how you say it, but it's called Waylander. I literally saw this in a thrift store and I just saw the name Waylander and I was like, that sounds pretty cool. Then I read like the first paragraph of the prologue and I was hooked. The world building was so easy to follow, the character development, everything about it was so freaking good. I've never read a book like this, especially fantasy that wasn't like young adult. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a whole new world to me. It opened the door. I do have one more book by him that we will find somewhere in here that I haven't read yet and I don't think it's from this series. I think it's from a different series. But what's cool is I'm pretty sure you can read these out of order without context and it's just all taking part in the same world. I want to read more books like that and if you haven't read that book, highly recommend. Okay, we've got my classics, El Dorado and She. These are new books I just got. I finally found 100 Years of Solitude. I want to read this book so bad. If you haven't heard of this book, I want to say what Encanto was based off of. Oh my gosh, I almost just threw it. I've heard so many freaking good things about it. I haven't read it yet, so I don't want to speak on what I don't know, but I've just heard this is an incredible read, so it's on my list. Then I've got Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister. This is by George George McGuire. It's just so freaking cool. Like the art styles. Like look at how cool that is. This is one of three that I have of him. I found these two, Wicked and Mirror Mirror, together in a thrift store. And then I found this one at a different thrift store and I was like, oh my god, I'm just gonna start collecting Gregory McGuire. I was recommended Wicked by a lovely human being who cut my hair a few months ago when I was in Utah. They highly recommended this book to me and they were like, just be fair warned, it will like wreck you and it's just so good if you haven't read it yet. I was already on the hunt for Wicked and then I saw this and I was like, yes. And then I saw this and I was like, yes. And then I said, yeah, you see how it happens. You understand. These are like all my faves. The Vanishing Half I have not read yet. More classics. We've got The Alchemist, The Little Prince. I'll Give You the Sun is one of my favorite books of all time. If you have not read 
this book go read it i think i need to start a new section for books i have read and i love already perks of being a wallflower is one of those books musicophilia i have the cover somewhere i just when i'm reading a hardcover i don't i don't like it i didn't even start this one yet i was anticipating starting it and i haven't yet v.e schwab we've got the invisible life of Eddie the rue daisy jones of the six I haven't read either of those van gogh's ear if you're new here i adore van gogh he is like my everything and then we've got iliad and odyssey by homer i mean look at it rebecca a movable feast by hemingway i don't know how i'm gonna even do this if i'm being totally honest everything everything by nicola yoon one of my favorite books of all time i legit think i'm gonna have to start donating my favorite books and that's really sad all this time my favorite book of all time Ugh. i've read so many great books now i this is just one of my favorite oops how about we just start saying this is one of my favorite books of all time. Pachinko by Min Jin Lee. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I have not read either of these. Beach Read by Emily Henry. Also one of my favorite books of all time. Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves. I have not read yet. Hook, Line, and Sinker. I'm trying to find the first book of this. I did start it and I really liked it. I would love to read It Happened One Summer first so gotta find that Ooh, a treasury of sherlock holmes saving this for my bestie kimmy because she claimed it from one of my videos so this is getting saved for her we have to have a kimmy pile these are also kimmy's pile we've got a book on grammar a writing book persuasion and an entire giant thing of edgar Allan poe okay some fun fantasy books i found devin that is not the name at all. David Eddings, King of the Murgos. This was right after I read Waylander and I was like, I need more books like this. So this is where the collecting began. Then I've got The 13th House by Sharon Shin. It just looked really dope. Mostly I saw the covers of them and then glanced at the back and just got it. That's not how you should buy your books. This is another one I'm gonna give Kimmy, but it's called Storyville. It's just a book on writing fiction. It's really, really good. I enjoyed it and I think she will also love it. Then I've got Seascapes. This was for free. It was in a box at a garage sale and I snatched it up. It's like this interesting book from 1974. It's got like little snippets of like cool pictures and poetry. I love it. I'm freaking obsessed with the Pacific Ocean. So this was just right up my alley. This was free. I'm gonna say that louder for the people in the back. This was free. It's The Hobbit with illustrations. Illustrations. So yeah, now I have two copies of The Hobbit and I haven't even freaking finished reading it. I have this giant book of the Chronicles of Narnia, every single book in the series in this, and I would love to read this, but it's just one of those things that like I keep around and it's a good idea and hopefully I can do that soon. Then we have Virginia Woolf. Very excited to read this one. This one Trevor's mom sent. It is at home in Midford. I have not started reading this one, but I'm excited to. This book was also free. Anne of Green Gables. It's the first three volumes. I have never read Anne of Green Gables and it's been on my list for a while, so I'm excited about that. How's your bath, tomato? The woman was too stunned to speak. Kiki, I'm trying to film a video, bro. Next, we've got The Dead Romantics, which I did start. I'm literally 18 pages in. I just couldn't stay interested. So I don't know if this is when I should donate or not. Next up is There's No Such Thing as an Easy Job. I also started to read this one. I got about 12 pages in. I will be powering through it, but I just got sick of reading. Uh, one point so i just quit reading that one but i was interested okay so i'm trying to save all the little books last there's two rows we've got virginia wolf a room of one's own i did start to read this one but i have not finished it maybe i'll have like a whole virginia wolf video <laughs> okay this one it ruined me i literally picked it up for no reason i found it i think at a thrift store and i was just drawn to it it's called still life with rice a young american woman discovers the life and legacy of her korean grandmother i'm not korean i am filipino it just anything with asian culture i feel instantly drawn to and i want to learn more about and just understand all of the different facets and cultures and subcultures and the history and and the traditions and just all of it. I was very excited to read this book and it wrecked me, dude. It is not 
an easy read by any means. It is something that like, it's just a hard reality. I don't even know how to, how to even go forward with this. But I did read this one all the way through. I annotated it. I had my favorite quotes, really hard, difficult things, parts of history that I wanted to research and understand better. But if you do see this book, I highly recommend you read it. It is a history that we need to be remembering and respect and honor needs to be given to these people that went through this. I'm gonna move on before I start crying. I don't even know what to do. Oh, I'm gonna give this to Kimmy. <laughs> I know, I just said all that and then I'm giving it to Kimmy. But it's fine, I promise she'll love it. Moving on, I got this amazing book of Emily Dickinson Selected Poetry. Okay, look at the cover, okay? Next up is An Indigenous People's History of the United States. I saw this recommended by a couple of different indigenous people who said this was a really great read for people that want to understand the history of America and what the Native American people went through. We all need to do our own research and to dive in to understand the history and basically what I'm trying to say is you should read this and you should care about indigenous people. Next up, is when the light of the world was subdued our songs came through this is a norton anthology of native nations poetry so this is like from all over different native people's poetry it's got parts of their language in it it even says i'll find an example it has a little blurb about the author of the poem where they're from what tribe they're a part of parts of their linguistics it's just so freaking cool so i snagged this one the same time i got that and i have been meeting to do a deep dive on this one as well. I have a lot of poetry books that I've been meaning to get through, but I really like to just take my time through them. So I have not started that one yet. Next up, one of my other most recent purchases is The Letters of Vincent Van Gogh. And I know we just talked about him, but Vinny is one of my absolute favorite human beings ever. These are mostly letters between him and his brother, Theo. Basically every quote that you see of Vincent Van Gogh, I don't even have one off the top of my head, but there's so many that are absolutely breathtaking, just about loving life, the experience of it, even in the darkness, even when you're going through a mental breakdown, even when you're having a bout of psychosis, you can still find the light, you can still see the beauty and the color and the vibe vibrancy and just there's so much about Van Gogh that I just can't even I don't even have the time right now to, to talk about him. I finally got his letters and I'm so excited to read this. Next up I got the complete collected poems of Maya Angelou. I am so excited about this. I am 29 pages in. This book Okay, this is so freaking cool. I did show this in one of my videos. I don't think it got enough love and respect. Once upon a time, the fairy tale world of Arthur Rackham. I'm gonna take the sleeve off so we can fully appreciate this book. Okay, but look at, look at how stunning. Are you looking at this? I don't know when I'm gonna read this. I know that it is going to eventually sit on a coffee table in my future home when I'm not in an RV with no space because that is freaking gorgeous, dude. The moment you have been waiting for. All of my tiny books and all of the books I have recently been reading. First up, Fern Michaels About Face. I have never read the title of that actually. I was recommended Fern Michaels and I have just been keeping my eye out so I snagged this one. It seemed interesting. I have nothing else to say about it. I know why the cage bird sings. Ender's Game, Feast of Souls, haven't read it but it's a cool fantasy book. The Sea Glass Cottage by Rianne Thane. I have no reason other than the vibe. Trevor's mom sent me these two books by Sue Grafton. We finally have the other book by David Gemmel. The First Chronicles of Druss the Legend. Honestly, I have no idea what this one's about. Shakespeare. This is Hamlet Macbeth and King Lear all in one. Another Shakespeare. This is Twelfth Night by Shakespeare. We are finally to the last row of little books. Not one, not two, but three books by Debbie McComer. Trevor's mom, she she introduced me to her. She let me read one of her books when they came to visit us and I loved it. So I have been snagging Debbie's books. These are all of the Jeanette Ivanovich books that I have, except number four is in my purse right now. So yeah. Trevor's mom gifted me two for the dough and I read this in like two days. I was absolutely obsessed. She is so funny. I can't get past how 
funny these books are and they're action-packed to a degree that is like scary then i read one for the money and three to get deadly and i'm reading number four right now high five hot six seven up and hard eight <laughs> What I will say is definitely read like the trigger warnings, especially on the first one. Just see if it's something you would vibe with. It is 100% written in the mid 90s. So there's a lot of things that are not okay that are in that book that were okay at the time. They were never okay, but they were, you get what I'm saying. These older books, you just have to be careful and does that make sense? Just look up the trigger warnings before you read it. Now we're getting into my cozy mystery obsession. Surprisingly, I only have three down here. One of which I've already read. The other ones I've already read. Meet Your Baker, Elia Alexander. I was just thinking about this book because they talk about Shakespeare in this. I want to get more by Ellie Alexander, but I haven't found any more like in a thrift store, so I'm keeping my eye out, but that book was so good. Then I have Death Al Dente. Then I found this also at a thrift store, Brood Awakening by Cleo Coyle. It just looked cute. It's a coffee mystery murder. How do you not get that? Also, if a book has a cat on it, I'm getting it. Oh, look at that. Another Debbie book, but this one is literally dashing through the snow. I want to read this one in the winter time during Christmas. Last but certainly not least, I have The House of the Seven Gables, Nathaniel Hawthorne. Look at how freaking cool that is. I definitely want to read this one during spooky season. My legs are officially asleep, so I'm going to move up to the couch and show you what is going on on the floor. Yeah. So now we just have to figure out how we're going to put all of them up there. I think I'm going to put my music back on and put all of these back onto the couch in their specific categories and try to see if there's any semblance of order. Just kind of brainstorm how the frick I'm going to do this. very mean. I'm doing nothing to you. These are my books. No. Do you need to go somewhere else? I'm allowed to touch them. They're my books. They are my, they're my books. You never behave this way unless I'm messing with my books. Do you need to play with something? Let me get you a toy. You're being very rude and weird. Ow! I'm telling you she never she never behaves that way unless I'm doing something with my books. A little backstory on the string she's playing with. When we're driving, this stops all the books from falling out. Since we're gonna be pretty stationary for a while, I'm thinking I'm just gonna cut it out. This string is not very aesthetic, so I'm thinking next time I can do something fun. Hey, hey, hey! Why are you like this? You're not an aggressive cat! Here's a real question. Should I turn this into a cat bed area for her? Imagine I just have like a little pillow cushion up here and we could put like fake book pictures on the walls for her. Like it's her little library. I'm not kidding, if you watch any video of mine when I'm redoing this library, she does this. She's like a little dragon, and she won't let me... She also does that every time. Most of this bookshelf is full, and I still have all of my little books, all of my favorite books, and my poetry to put up there. I'm really loving this little section right here. Okay, that would be really cute in theory. Let's put a little pillow there. There you go, tomato. I made you a little bed. I'm gonna have to rehome some books. <laughs> so here are all the books that are remaining that have to go somewhere up there. I'm thinking I have to get rid of books. Okay, we've got one book to donate, four extras to give to Kimmy. I think I'm gonna go out there and see if there's any that I can part with. Can we talk about how she's thriving up there right now? I'll put a picture of me and your father. So I have never organized my bookshelf like this before, which is basically shove stuff 
wedge it in there until it fits and works. That was because of little Miss's need for a space up there. Look at how genuinely happy she is. That is leading to a very chaotic bookshelf that is in my brain categorized. And I have a whole stack of books I'm gonna give to Kimmy and that need to get donated. Here is the finished product of my bookshelf. Ta-da! So as you can see, it's all just kind of like shoved, especially like these books. kind of gets worse over here. These are all of my bookmarks. And then this has two layers to it. So we've got my dragon books and then my Debbie McComber books. Some tomato space. I think it's worth it, honestly. I just emptied out that little cabinet that's up there and we have to reorganize these and put them back up there. And I think I'm also gonna move the ones that I'm giving to Kimmy up there just so that they're all in one place. I don't have to worry about it. So I managed to fit all of the books I'm donating back in here. These are a bunch of random ones, all the little books that I have read. It's just, when we donate to little libraries, I'll do a breakdown, but just for now. I still have an entire stack that I need to give to Kimmy. I think I'm just gonna set them in front of what I've already organized until I can give them to her, which should be within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. And then maybe I can get rid of these books soon. Are you so happy, Tomato? Oh, you love being by the books. It's not pretty anymore, but this is what I've gotta do, okay? Just, you know, we got my books in order. We got Tomato a new place to sleep. A few issues have arisen. There's no little libraries near me, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all those books that I need to donate. Second problem is that all of my camera gear usually goes where Tomato is now sleeping. So I need to find a home for that. But aside from that, I think today was a big win. It's less chaotic. At least now I know where my books are and stuff. You know, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you so much for sticking around this long. Next time I see you, I honestly can't give you a straight answer what we're gonna be up to. If you like hanging out with me, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you liked it. Make sure to comment down below. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I post a new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.